and welcome to the DIY edition of the Dollar Bills. Today we're going to talk about home improvement projects. They can add lots of value to your home, but if they're poorly planned, they can turn into much more expense than you anticipated. Especially when labor and material costs start increasing. Yikes. Exactly. It's definitely a measure twice cut once with lumber prices. When planning a house remodel, it can be tempting to skip to the exciting stage of choosing new paint colors, fixtures, and fittings. In order for any renovation to go smoothly, there are several things to think about before you even begin. And before we begin, we want to thank you for watching and remind you to like and subscribe for more tips and ideas. If you do, Johnny will show up at your doorstep and sing an opera song to you. You keep making these promises and the song's going to be about a tragedy. But let's get going. Know your end goal. Are you renovating to raise the resale value or will you be staying put for a few years? Consider the condition of your neighborhood before you begin and know which renovations are a good return on investment. Overdoing it could put you in a position where your home has outpriced the neighborhood, making it a harder sell if the real estate market changes. Having a specific plan in place for your future will help you determine your budget and how far to go. Some projects that offer a better return are remodeling a kitchen or adding a bathroom. Know your budget. Have a budget and stick to it. It's one of the most important parts of the planning process. Remember to add in a contingency fund for unexpected costs and plan on using it. And don't forget about those incidentals. If you're renovating your kitchen, you need to plan on eating for a few days or staying in a hotel. Now, sometimes your dreams can be bigger than your bank account. Maybe there are some easy upgrades you can make to your house to make it look more valuable, like a fresh coat of paint or updated fixtures. Look into how you can finance the project with cash. But if you aren't ready for that, explore options for home equity loans or lines of credit. And find out what projects you could do that could be tax deductible. Consult your tax advisor first, but using the money to buy, build, or improve a home can net you credits. Keep that in mind. Consult the calendar. If you're doing an update in hopes of completing it for a particular event or holiday, make sure you look at the end date and work your way backwards. And be sure to pencil in a few weeks to a month at the end for wiggle room in case there are delays along the way. You don't want to be enjoying your turkey pilgrim style, sitting outside in the cold wearing one of those buckle hats. Gather the info. Visit with family, friends, or neighbors about the renovations they have done. Ask them what challenges they face during the process and if there were any problems with contractors. Discussing a project with someone who was in your shoes is an invaluable part of the planning process, and this information may alter your end plan. Know your limits. DIY renovations are a great way to save money, Justin. But you have to know your limits or the money you thought you could save could turn into a disaster that someone else will have to come in and repair. Know which tasks you can safely tackle and hire licensed and insured contractors to handle the heavy stuff, like electrical, plumbing, and other things that have to follow city codes. Get references. Any good contractor will have no problem providing references and copies of liability insurance before a job begins. Don't rely solely on client testimonials. Search out actual customers that can give you a first-hand account and answer any questions you may have. For any project, ask to see before and after images of a contractor's work, and most importantly, trust your gut. Keep the kids and pets safe. If you're doing a DIY, it's a great opportunity to involve older kids, but if you have little ones or pets, it can be dangerous. Exactly. Ever seen a cat try to use a drill? Be sure to install safety gates, electrical safety covers, and store sharp tools well out of the way of curious tots. Your furry family will be affected in a much different way too. This can mean having a friend or family member watch your pet while the work is getting done. My dog thinks our vacuum is an alien from another dimension. So just imagine how she feel with strangers in the house, banging hammers and buzzing saws running all day long. Make a master list. To have the best chance of success and to help in the budgeting process, make a master checklist of items you need. From building permits to paint rollers, it's helpful to separate the list by items you have and items you need to purchase. In the case of tools, making a list can help you decide what you can rent to save on costs versus buying new. In regards to building permits, homeowners consider them an unwanted headache that only slows the project. But permits are a necessary part of the process. Skipping permits can come back to haunt you if not obtained in the first place. They're necessary to ensure your project meets structural and fire safety requirements, and code inspectors in most jurisdictions can make you rip out non-conforming work that's not up to snuff. This can create a very expensive headache when looking to sell your home down the road. It always is advisable to think ahead and ensure the permit process is followed. 
Finally, after the renovation and the cleanup that follows it, it's time to enjoy your new space. You deserve it. Tell us about your renovations in the comments. Are you planning one? Did you complete one recently? Have more tips for the rest of us? Let us know. Yep, you know the drill. Wow.